first trip to the Goodwill bins, you could say it was a success and only took three hours, seven dollars, and a bit of my will to live. Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week I finally got to check something off my bucket list I've been wanting to do forever, which is go to the Goodwill bins. If you don't know, the bins are basically, well, it's one of the most overstimulating things I've ever experienced in my entire life. It's this giant warehouse of, like the name insinuates, just all of these bins filled with mainly clothes, but there was also shoes, accessories, randomly a lot of children's toys at the one I went to, which I, you know, not personally in the market for. Do I look like a teen mom to you? Now, instead of charging a price per piece. They charge you for the weight of all of your items and they do not charge a lot, which is how I ended up with 12 items, give or take, for less than $7, which I pay more for my iced coffee. Um, which feels a little wrong. Like there's something kind of sick and twisted about that. But anyways, here's all the cute stuff I got. I did originally plan on filming this experience and taking you along with me. I brought in my giant DSLR camera that I'm filming on right now that weighs about five pounds, but then I was so overwhelmed and alone, which felt really hardcore. There was endless piles of stuff I was going through and so many people from what I could tell too, most of what seemed to be resellers and thankfully for me, not the Depop girly resellers. It was like the vintage t-shirt hype beast sort of guy resellers. If you been wanting to go but we're maybe feeling a little scared I would definitely recommend it just be prepared to do a lot of digging and bring gloves I, I saw some people just raw dogging these piles with their bare hands I mean to each their own oh and also pee before and don't drink too much water because there, there's no bathrooms there at least not that I saw just in case you were wondering about the bathroom situation I know I always am no matter where I go so I think it's time to just get into the try on now and I did wash all of this stuff already I put it back in the bag for you know dramatic effect come on I'm trying to commit to something here so you will start to notice a theme throughout this haul of a lot of crochet items. I clearly got lucky in that department and usually when I go thrifting, especially recently, I have a list on my phone of items that I want to add to my wardrobe and I can look for at the thrift store so I can kind of just be more intentional with my shopping and buying. With the bins though, because I had no idea what to expect, I really just went in open-minded and was ready to receive whatever the thrift gods wanted to bestow upon me and that happened to be a lot of crochet, which just so happens to be something I was in the market for anyway. It all worked out. So first up is the top that I currently have on and I swear it's directly off of my Pinterest board. The color of this is just a dream and the fit is also perfect. There's just so many styling opportunities with these sort of tops. I have it on right now slightly more dressed up with the white tank and the long white flowy skirt I have on my boots but I could also wear this with a pair of denim shorts or as a bathing suit cover up and we're good to go. Ooh, also with a little black mini skirt and matching black bra and some boots on a night out. So cute. Of course, if I like something, I'm gonna buy it in every color or at least try and manifest it at the thrift store in every color. They're not completely the same. Okay, this one has a slightly more loose off the shoulder kind of silhouette. I love the crochet pattern that's happening on this one too. It's so pretty. Look at that little scalloped sleeve detailing. It's, it's so good. Since we're already on the topic of crochet, I figured I could show you these jeans that I didn't get these at the bins. I actually made these jeans a couple of days ago, but some of the doilies I used on the jeans are from the bins. Yeah, I'm not even gonna act like I'm not impressed with myself for making these. Like I said, I'm, I'm going through a big crochet phase. Wait, would these be cute with this kind of crochet on crochet moment, or is that a bit too much like 2012? free people core. I mean, is anything really wrong with that though? One thing about me is that if there's gingham in my vicinity, I am going to find it. So I mean, of course, look at how precious this skirt is. Little flowers all over it too. Oh, and check this tag out. Are you, look at that. One of my favorite parts of thrift shopping is getting to see all of the vintage tags on the clothing because what? happened. They used to be so fun and creative and I thought we were supposed to be progressing as a society. Like where is the innovation? What happened? Stop with the minimalist shit and bring back fun tags. <laughs> Thankfully it fits me great too, even though I will say I'm not usually the biggest fan of a split hem on any sort of clothing, but for whatever reason, it's not really bothering me on this. It probably has something to do with the, the gingham aspect. There's a lot of things I can overlook when gingham is involved. This next item has to be my favorite find of the entire trip. Look 
at this little like Edwardian era cotton white sweetest thing I've ever laid my eyes on. Dr well, I'm calling it a dress, but I'm pretty sure it's a nightgown that I will be wearing as a dress. Like, are you kidding me with this neckline right now? Do you, are you saying this? Do you see this? It's it's perfection. This is a sick joke. Me in the stress feels like me in my most precious state of existing, and I need to find a grassy hill to run through while wearing this as soon as possible. Also, look at this little side tie detailing. I've never seen this on a dress before. It makes me really curious as to when this was made because it does give me that sort of Edwardian 1910s influence, but it's in such good condition. I just can't believe it's that old. I'm thinking maybe more the 70s, which took a lot of Edwardian influence. There were some stains in the dress when I first got my hands on it, but they were pretty easy to bleach out and it's like good as new and it's definitely something I've been wanting and also something I've seen on Depop for like $200. The oh so sweet blessing of the thrift gods. I mean, if you really want to talk about some blessings from the thrift gods, I... What the fuck? What the actual... This is sick. This, it still has the tag on it for it was being sold at just the regular Goodwill. This is the one thing that I didn't wash because I have to get it dry cleaned and I didn't want to wait to show you, okay? Like, me showing you this was of the utmost urgency, all right? I just, I still can't believe I got my hands on this. Even for the original price that Goodwill had it at, what was it, $9.99? I would have seen that and been like, oh my god, a steal. Give it to me immediately. But the fact that I got this and everything else I'm showing you in this haul for less than $9.99. Around two and a half years ago, I went through a sort of random necktie phase and finding this just made me feel nostalgic. Never wore them as actual ties, by the way. I, I don't even know how to tie a real tie. Something about the brown color contrasting with it has these like colorful embroidered dots all over it just got me. I see myself re-entering my necktie phase very soon in the future. So I have this sort of schoolgirl-esque skirt in my closet already that I love. I wear it all of the time, but it's made out of wool, so it's definitely a more fall-winter item, and for the summer, I had been wanting to get a kind of cotton version of that skirt, and I managed to come across this, which I'm like 99% sure is an actual school uniform skirt. Just so I really went for authenticity this time around. Also, I thought this was plaid, but now that it's in front of me, this is clearly a gingham skirt. So uh, yet another gingham item for me, another gingham skirt at that. And what if I have a gingham problem, okay? What about it? There's a vision for styling with this. All right, trust me. I'm censoring my nipples because YouTube cannot take that sort of heat, but are we kind of? Seeing the vision. I don't know. I think it's cute. I'm into it. I managed to find not one, but two of these sort of short sleeve style tops that are my version of an elevated basis. This one I have on is just in the most gorgeous pastel buttery yellow color that I've been loving recently. They're simple enough that you can throw them on and mix and match with a ton of different items, but they still have their own little charm. You know, they have some character. A nice little fit, and it has this sort of dotted texture all throughout it, and I mean, the next line with these cutouts. It's precious. It's a great summer layering top too. Uh, the other one though is not so great for summer. This probably will not be getting a ton of wear until like summer transitioning into fall. Yeah, this is fully Angora. So wearing this when it's over 70 degrees outside is actually a health hazard. It's good though, right? And again with just the sweet little pastel precious colors. Not itchy either, which I feel like for Angora and especially vintage Angora is kind of rare, so... <laughs> Love. I have another crochet item with this just most perfect little summer bag that I'm going to be throwing on with any and every outfit. Oh please, not now. The two places that I feel like I'm really lacking in my wardrobe are shoes, well shoes that aren't boots, and then purses. I love a good crossbody, and this one is just such a good staple. And I'm so happy that I found Next it. Next up is another item I probably won't be getting a ton of wear from until it's a bit closer to fall. The perfect cardigan from like the specific shade of baby pink to the fit to if you look up close in the knit, there's like heart detailing. I mean, come on. I love it. And I'm excited for when I can actually start styling it with, I feel like it's gonna go with a lot of different things in my wardrobe, but for now it needs to come off my body because I'm already sweating it after wearing it for like five minutes. Forehead sweat and bangs, not a combo I recommend. Getting down to the last couple of items. Again, all of these items I got for under $7. I just feel the need to remind you of that because it still is so fucking insane to me. Like, are we really, really, we need to think 
for a second and like truly let that marinate. These are most definitely like straight up pajama pants, but I've seen some outfits on my Pinterest recently styling. I don't know if they're actual pajamas or pajama style of pants, but they're cute outfits and I'm influenced and I'm hoping I can try and maybe recreate them with these. I'm actually going to be leaving for the Outer Banks in a couple of days for a family vacation. My entire extended side of my mom's family, we used to do this before 20. 20. I don't know if you remember anything that happened that might have prevented that from happening. It's our first time doing it since though and I'm so excited and I think these styled with the right items could be really cute for that kind of like beachy, I'm so effortless, I don't care at all, I'm totally not a try hard um, kind of vibe. That's like most definitely me. Like am I crazy or is this cute? I don't know, I mean I like it. The elastic in the waistband kind of got messed up so I'm gonna have to fix that before I go but thankfully one of, if not my only talent is sewing so. <laughs> also for the Outer Banks, honestly a lot of the stuff that I got from the bins I'll probably be taking with me on my trip but I really wanted to find some kind of just like sweater kind of throw on easy breezy whether it's in the morning or at night or playing games with my family playing games and winning of course nothing crazy it's just comfortable and i liked the stripes they kind of felt like i was like, leaning into the sort of nautical vibe and my camera battery's flashing it's gonna die i need to hurry thankfully there's only two items left and we're finishing how we started with crochet. <laughs> More crochet. In the spirit of being fully transparent with you right now, I would not have gotten either of these things if I hadn't found them at the bins. I mean, this hat, I, I don't know. I think I'm pulling it off, or at least I could potentially. It reminds me of something that Laura like Gilmore would wear, so maybe I should rewatch the show to get some inspiration. And then, I mean, I don't even know what this is. If at first I thought it was a blanket, and then I was like, I think it might be a poncho god with a hat, I'm like seriously serving our school teacher right now. It's like Miss Frizzle, but if she was an insufferable bitch. I thought it could maybe be a skirt too, but it's definitely too big. Maybe if I kind of tied it, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, it was the bins, okay? They just, they got to me. So with that, I mean, there you go. There's everything that you could get at the Google bins for $7, under $7. I really need to go, my camera's gonna die any second. So I love you, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, stay sexy, bye.